Yo, Idlewild here with the most feared Derrick Henry review. He goes to like 25 to 30k in the auction house, but you could probably find him really, really cheap. Now, what this review is different than most of my reviews. We have two versions of Derrick Henry to show you. We have Derrick Henry on conservative, and then we have Derrick Henry on balance. And one of my followers, Luigi, told me about this. So if the conservative Derrick Henry is the cable version of Derrick Henry, the balanced version is direct TV. Now on conservative, Derrick Henry plays to the description. He's not going to break a lot of tackles. He's not going to break a lot of big runs, but he's going to hold on to the ball and he's going to be consistent. You can see here he's not fumbling on conservative, but his trunk is definitely decreased and definitely nerfed, I can say. Derrick Henry in Madden 17, the, mo the most feared Derrick Henry was a trucking monster. You couldn't tackle him and you couldn't make him fumble either because he had such high carrying. He was still able to, to spin and do some kind of juke moves and catch out of the backfield on conservative, but otherwise he was pretty much just a very normal mundane back. But once you put him on balance, he returns to the Derrick Henry of old that we know. He becomes that direct TV Derrick Henry. He's able to break tackles without you having to do any kind of user inputs. There are a lot of TDs I got from Derrick Henry on balance simply because he was able to break tackles on his own and able to move forward a lot. I know that, that was like a double animation and most running backs would have got there, but he was he was much improved over the conservative version of Derrick Henry. And then his trucking was back to normal on balance. And I know this is not like a revelation for most people. Obviously, you're going to perform better on balance than you do on conservative. But if, if you check out Kareem Hunt and Adrian Peterson, there are some running backs who perform at the same level that they do on balance on conservative. Derrick Henry was the first one that I reviewed that actually showed that big difference between balance and conservative. There were a lot of plays that he made on balance that he never would have made on conservative. And I think that's worth noting. And, if, and that's also going to do it to affect whether I think you, you should be using him. I think that if you're going to put somebody on balance, or if, you, if you play on balance, he's definitely the guy to go. Even though he did fumble for me once or twice on balance, which is obviously a part of the description. You're prone to more fumbles because you're not covering up the ball and being conservative. His spinning was good no matter what you put him on conservative or balance. But in terms of when you should use him, I think if you're going to pick up Derrick Henry, if you know you're going to run, go ahead and put him on balance and then go ahead and run him. Especially in the, in the red zone or the goal line because he's going to be able to break a lot of tackles on his own. And then not even including you using truck or stiff arm or juke or anything like that. Now in terms of his speed, he was very solid. 88 speed is solid. Speed is speed. He's not like has a glitchy speed. He's not going to outrun 90 speed DBs or anything like that. And he's also able to catch out of the backfield. Overall, I felt like this card was very solid. If you play on conservative, don't get him. If you play on balance, you should definitely pick him up. That's it for this video. See you guys around next time. Peace.